In this video we will learn how to create mesmerizing 3D screen effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. Like this. Hello video editors. Welcome to Solly Tutorials. In this step-by-step -step guide, we'll show you how to transform your video into a stunning visual experience. Let's dive right in. Import the video you want to work with into the Premiere Pro Media Library. Then drag and drop the video onto the timeline to begin working with it. Now, we'll apply the 3D effect to the mouse arrow area, which was recorded within Premiere Pro. To do this, Navigate to the Effects panel and perform an effects search for Basic 3D. Once you find the Basic 3D effect, select it and drag and drop it onto the video in your timeline. Next, open the Effect Controls panel. If you don't see it, activate it by going to the Window menu and clicking on Effect Controls. In the Effect Controls panel, you'll find all the settings for the basic 3D effect. The swivel option allows you to rotate the screen left and right in a 3D space. Below that, the tilt option lets you rotate the screen up and down in 3D. Finally, the distance option enables you to resize the zoom level of your footage in 3D. At this point, we haven't applied any 3D effects to the video yet. Let's proceed to adjust the 3D effect to achieve effective and desirable results. We'll use keyframe animation to animate the 3D effect. Click on the position, scale, and rotation stopwatch icons in the effect controls panel to add keyframes. Scroll down to reveal the stopwatch icons for swivel tilt, and distance under the basic 3D effect. Click on these stopwatch icons as well to add keyframes at the start of the video. You can now animate the keyframes by changing the values for the effect or motion settings. For example, zoom the distance of the basic 3D effect and adjust the values of swivel and tilt to your liking. Also, adjust the position to center the video. Now we need to move the playhead forward so we can add the next keyframes. At this position of the playhead I add the next keyframes. Add this keyframe like the previous keyframes. This time I am not changing the values in these keyframes. And again I move the playhead forward. This time I change the values of the keyframes. This time in the keyframes I adjust the swivel tilt and position. So it will create a 3D animation something like this. And in the same way I will move the playhead forward for the next keyframe in the same way throughout the video. And adjust the swivel, tilt, distance and positions. And sometimes in keyframes I'll adjust the rotation and scale as well.
Thought that you should know I've been going solo Want my love, baby, earn it Yeah Dancing on my own See if you can follow Got me feeling alive Watch me go After adding the keyframe animation, you will have a 3D effect on your video. However, we'll enhance it further. Proceed to the effects panel again and search for the Gaussian blur effect. Once found, select the Gaussian blur effect and apply it to the video on the timeline by dragging and dropping. Open the effects controls panel to access the settings for the Gaussian blur effect. Create an ellipse mask for the Gaussian blur effect by clicking on the ellipse mask option. If you encounter issues with empty areas around the video, simply drag the Gaussian blur effect above the basic 3D effect to eliminate the problem. Adjust the blur intensity, typically around 20, and invert the mask. In the program monitor, position the ellipse mask to highlight the desired area. For added creativity, experiment with different mask shapes or add multiple masks with varying blur intensity. Now, animate the mask with keyframe animation. Add the first keyframes to the start of the video. Then move the playhead forward to add subsequent keyframes. Throughout the video, adjust the mask path by modifying the keyframes. Creating a dynamic animation that complements the 3D effect. Use keyframe easing to smoothen transitions between mask movement. To add a final touch of uniqueness to your video, enable the Show Specular Highlight option within the basic 3D effect settings in the Effect Controls panel. This will give your video a specular highlight, enhancing the 3D effect and providing a distinctive look. With these steps and tips, your 3D screen effect is now ready. Preview your work to ensure it meets your expectations, and make any necessary adjustments to achieve the perfect result. Congratulations! You've now mastered the art of creating captivating 3D screen effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. Don't hesitate to experiment further with keyframes, masks, and effects to unleash your creativity and make your video stand out. Hit that like button if you found this tutorial helpful, and remember to subscribe for more exciting content. Feel free to leave any comments or questions below. Keep creating amazing videos, and we'll see you in our future tutorials.